Hey, welcome back. Um, my son's playing a game on his uh, computer not too far from here. He's playing Europa Universalis, so you might hear him from time to time. But let's go ahead and load our game. And I can't remember what I was doing. That's right, we got to go back and get our missiles. We should probably resave after we get the missiles so we don't have to keep redoing this. Alright, so we're in port for four hours. We're up to ten hours. We're up to twenty. And I think our, um... So we got for the next seven days, so we're actually fine in that regard. Should probably take my advice and save. And off we go. I forgot to mention the 1968 campaign. Another annoying thing about that campaign is your your torpedoes are slower than the ships. So you spend the whole mission watching your torpedoes chase after a ship, and it never catches them because the ships are always faster. So you have to like launch several torpedoes and then get them to perfectly um you know almost like honey weave you know across so the ship can't escape and you're just wasting torpedoes like mad if so i'll just go to war who cares all right so there's where the plane spotted me and we're getting chased after by you know those escorts okay so this is our mission and this is the case where you do want to be as close as you can to the target, or otherwise it'll take you forever. So we're gonna go ahead and all man, all hands. We gotta slow down right away. Okay, so when you're attacking a land target, you're gonna see these little symbols here. Those are your targets. And I didn't know what to do the first couple times I did this mission. And I also didn't understand why there were two targets. And I guess the, the original release of the game um, allowed, like, you had to target, like, you know, four of your missiles to one, four of your missiles to the other, um, and it was a lot more involved, and now it's not. It's just, you just need to launch your eight missiles, and you're done. Now, <clears throat> now the trick to this game is, as you can see, we can only load four missiles at a time. And I'm listening, right, for contacts, and I don't have any. So now I'm going to go ahead and load all four missiles. And I'm going to speed it up so this will go quicker. But here's the deal. As soon as I launch, as soon as I launch my four missiles, that's great. But then i got to load four more missiles with the entire Soviet Navy knowing my exact location. That's the reason why these missiles, these these missions are hard. And then there it is. I, I just discovered something right when I loaded all these other missiles. Ay ay ay. And you definitely want to take out the enemy ships if you can before you reveal where you are. Um, this might actually just be a merchant. Not to say that the merchants won't... St still won't get a helicopter or two. Yeah, that's a merchant. Alright, I'm gonna try it, but this might be really bad. Okay, I have to get up to 200 feet. You can see there's a really strong layer, so I could shoot from below the strong layer. I could actually go above, and I really should have done that before I loaded all these missiles. And chances are I'm not detecting anything because I was close to the floor, and I was below the duct. Alright, let's do it. Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. Shoot. I just alternate. Aye, sir. I don't think it matters, but that's what I'm doing. And then you need to just load ASAP, 
And if you're really concerned that they know where you are, you may have to, like, you know, go into avoid mode. So, I'm already below the strong duct. So I'm okay. Um, at least I think I am. But here's the big test. The helicopters and stuff will come at you. And there it is. I just heard... There's the noisemaker. So that was a, a plane that dropped that. Um, not a helicopter. And uh, since I got everything loaded, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna push our luck here and finish our mission. I dove down, so I gotta get back up. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to load a decoy first, and then three torpedoes. But I'm going to set my direction this way. I'm going to set my depth to 400. And let's speed up and try to get out of here. Actually, let's try right... Oh, look at that. Okay, so my land attack missiles, as you can see, they're, it's in the air. Um, but your land strike is complete the moment you launch them. You don't have to watch them hit or anything like that. And since there's no vessels, weapons, or aircraft nearby, you, you run as fast as you can. Um, the thing I got lucky with is it was nighttime, and so I don't think people saw the launch. And that little merchant isn't going to... I, I don't know what the right word is. It's not going to rat you out, I guess. But they knew I was there. I mean, that's the reason why the little... Uh, the plane flew by and dropped a boy right in that... So they knew I was there, but for whatever reason, I got really lucky that there was no ships actually near me. So, uh, anyways. Uh, that was a job well done, but we still got to get back home. And you can see, these were all the ships that were on the map. I mean, look at this. The Grisha was definitely an escort. Krivek, bad... The Pody, I think, is just a... This is These two are... Um, uh, they're like uh, PT boats. I mean, they're not they're not a threat at all. The Andizans are um, merchants. I don't even know what a Dubna is. Andizans a merchant. Mguema is a oil, like a refueling ship. And another Dubna. So we can look what that is. I'm guessing those are just another version of a merchant fleet. So there was really only two escorts on the map, and we got out of there before they could get to us. So that part is awesome, and this was a 100% successful mission. It does not always go this well. That's actually one of the hardest missions to do. And now we got to get home. And yeah, it gives you a really nice, awesome thing. We hit Murmansk, you know, because the weather was bad, right? So um, the planes were grounded. If I remember correctly, so uh, that's why we were able to hit them. Um, how, somehow or another, a plane was still able to drop a sonar boy in our area, but that's okay. So we got assigned another mission. We don't even get to go back and rearm. Um, so this is a weird one. They're trans transiting at high speed towards the Soviet coast. An enemy raider group. So we have to sink any replenishment ships in the area, and um, so forth. So uh, what's going to immediately happen, though, is there were two uh, sub-hunting groups that, you know, the plane flew over me. They were coming right for me. So uh, I got to be. I'm probably going to have to play a few missions that are not my objective. And there they go. So I'm going to try to get out of their way. So the Soviet coast is over here. And yeah, I mean, that plane flew, that plane flew over me, so they contacted me again. On sonar, lost contact. Last bearing, two, five, six. Contact faded. And as you can see, i got to get my, my stuff reloaded. I'm up near the top. 
I'm not far enough out at sea to avoid shallow water, so that stinks. Um, I'm gonna hit F9. We're gonna just Con, room, two see. Ready. You can hear they're 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 doing active sonar. Um, there was a little yellow line that came from this direction. So for whatever reason, we're not seeing them, and I don't know why. I mean, they're even using active sonar. It could be because they're really far away. But for right now, I just want to load my torpedo tube, so I'm okay with waiting. Yep, that sounds right. So it is nighttime. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. So remember how this is a Sierra One, and Sierra One, when I click on it, is at bearing 259. So I'm going to hit P, and then if you look up here at the top, I'm at 270, so uh, this is roughly 259, and I think that might be the ship. That's a helicopter. No, that's not good. So they're definitely looking for me. Oh, look, there's even a plane going by. Jesus. Um, but they're in this general area, 259... The other thing you can do is put up the ESM mask. And so we just got another contact echo. Now echo 2, see it's an E instead of an S, because my ESM mask is what picked that up. And you can see the signal's really faint. Like it could be a cash-in, which sounds about right. And this one might be. Who knows? We'll go ahead and just mark them. And now let's see if they've spotted me. I hope they didn't. Nope, they're still just flying around looking for me. And then, uh, I just spotted the Kara now with multiple uh, signals, and so it turned into Master 1. Remember, that was Sierra 1. Now it's Master 1. And... He's in front of me, but for whatever reason, I can't see him. There he is. I gotcha. Right there. Alright, so... I lost the wire, dang it. Lost the wire on that one too. This guy's like super far away. That must be why I wasn't picking them up at first. Alright, so now the question is, is did they hear me? They dropped stuff in the water. I'm gonna low anything that makes me visible. This torpedo that I launched is now... It's probably going to miss him, right? Because I'm going way over this way. So, let's launch our last one. <laughs> and let's load some more, which I don't have that many. I guess I got 11 still. But, uh... This is going to be quite a fight, because I don't have deep water to dive into. And they're already looking for me actively. Con sonar lost contact. Master 3, last bearing 2, 2, 9. Contact faded. And, and then, uh... Sorry, I had to pause there. Con, torpedo room, two, ready. Two, ready. So 
we get this torpedo, it's already active. It might, if we we're lucky, go after the Cashin in the back. I have this torpedo here. Oh, nope, it's going right after the Kara. So I may want to just. Con sonar lost contact. Master one, last bearing two, five, four. Contact breaking up. Just gonna do that. Let's hope this other torpedo activates quick enough. It's not going to. The punk. Why did I play this wrong? Shoot two one. Aye, sir. Con sonar regained contact on master three bearing two two Oop. four. So see, the, this guy all of a sudden came in a heck of a lot closer. So let's try seeing if he's there. Not quite. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, sonar lost contact. Master, two, last bearing, two, seven, five. Contact breaking up. Alright, so four doesn't see him, so that, there we go. Alright, we're in trouble. There's two coming right at us. There's really no diving to be done. I think what we need to do is just outrun it. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Alright, they see us. We got them all. So we're going to drop a decoy. That helped a little. We're going to have to start creating knuckles. You can drop another decoy. Oh, come on. That didn't do anything. Oh, come on. Punks. And here he comes again. Dropped a noise maker. What the heck's going on? What am I getting hit by? Oh no. How did I die? So a plane bombed me. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, so your only hope now, when this happens, is obviously I could reload my last save, which puts me back a entire mission. Um, or I could just load the auto save, which will be this exact mission that I just lost. Con sonar, new contact bearing two, three, eight, designated Sierra one. Con sonar. This is not a ship. This is a whale. Con sonar Sierra Four is classified as biologic. Con torpedo room two point ready. Con sonar Sierra Three is classified as escort. So we didn't have four ships last time, which is interesting. So I must never have spotted them. Nope, this is a merchant. Con sonar Sierra 5 is classified as merchant. Shoot 
They probably heard me. Yep, there's a torpedo in the water already. Come left to one, three, seven, helm, I. Shoot two, two, I, sir. So these are probably closer than they appear. They're probably where this Oodaloy is right here. Just like last time when we did this. They already spotted me. So we at least got the noisemaker out for now. So I'm gonna launch it. I'm going to disconnect. Because we got all out war going on. And I'm going to get hit already. Oh, you guys suck so much. Alright. So I can slow down. Oh, nope. There's a torpedo. Went right into it. Actually. It hasn't gone active yet, so... Nope, there it is. You jerk. There's another one. That one didn't spot us. So I gotta get away from these torpedoes before they get smart enough to find me. The decoy so far has worked. And then now this one's breaking away and is searching for me. Just running this thing. It, it spotted me because it's a jerk. That one's going to turn right back on to me. So, don't have a big... I got a... I don't have a noise... Oh, come on. What a jerk. I'm going to lose because of this freaking message. I can't believe this. Yeah, so I was talking about when does the game get tough. This is definitely one of those moments I'm clearly not doing very well with this particular mission. And um, it's not even my mission, it's just... <clears throat> and I'm stuck, because they either reload, you know, my old thing and have to redo the whole mission, which I told you I got super lucky with, or now I have to survive this. And my other option is to maybe just try to escape. And, uh... Sonar, new contact bearing. Two, four, one. Designated Sierra, one. I'm gonna try that option. Make step one, five, zero, eight, die, bye. So, I'm gonna go... this way. Helm right two, three, two, zero. Helm, I. Hit double speed. Con, torpedo room, two, one, ready. Con, 
I don't want to cavitate. No longer cavitating. And I think he spotted me. Look, he's coming right at me. Make turn Jerk. Maneuvering eye. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Shoot two three. Aye, sir. Come right to zero six two. Helm I. I don't know if I'm making a good move here. I'm trying something new. I was trying to run away, but clearly he spotted me. Con sonar. Sierra 2 is classified as escort. Shoot 2-2. Oh, yeah, I start Aye, sir. Shoot 2-4. Aye, sir. Look at this. I'm getting shot at like mad. So we're gonna get out of dodge here. Four, three, three. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Con sonar lost contact. See ya. Make turns for two zero knot. Maneuvering eye. I didn't even shoot. Hold on. Did I launch four? I must have. Come left to two eight zero. Helm I. Con No, I launched three. I launched a, a decoy. Yeah, I launched four. Alright, let's see. Let's see, because they just... Dang it, they just dropped a torpedo. And the decoy's here, and the torpedo's past the decoy. So now, here I am. Oh, come on. And here he comes again. Come left to one six two helm I. God, knuckle form. And I'm gonna get hit again. It's like these torpedoes are like super. God, knuckle form. Flooding in the engine room. Oh come on! It happened no, again. No longer cavitation. And now my propulsion's gone. The maximum I can go is 10 knots now. So I can't even outrun a torpedo anymore. Oh, what chicanery is this? Alright. At least got one of them. Two is down. Now we're just going to see if the third one goes down. So the, helm, steady the double speed keeps going back to single speed. That usually happens when somebody launches torpedoes. So I changed my direction. I don't want to be going right behind. You never want to follow your torpedoes. Because the number one thing people do when they detect a torpedo is they shoot in the direction <laughs> that it's coming from.
Okay. I was chewing on something, a snack, while I was waiting. But I, I would like to leave. But apparently I can't do that. I don't have him spotted. And I don't know why. But he's somewhere in this area. And then the uh, planes are going overhead, but they're they're not going after me. So And these guys are probably not my target. So I'm wasting a lot of my So I don't know exactly where he is, but I know there was one here, one here, and then the third one was about in that area. So what I'm going to do is just put it on passive or active sonar and just launch them. There he is. I don't even need to identify it. I know that's what I want to get. Oh, did you see the torpedoes? Came from this direction? Oh, come on. Come left to zero nine zero helm I. Con fire control con sonar Sierra three is classified as escort. Con sonar Got him. Okay, so look, I'm sinking because I started flooding. Damage control parties. Late damage control parties. Damage control parties. Late of the reactor space. <sighs> Make depth five zero feet. Die by con less than fifty feet below the keel. Emergency surface the ship. Die by. This is gonna stink because I have a helicopter. And now I'm trying to... But I'm sinking. Oh, come on. You mean to tell me I'm going to lose this mission again? Oh, there we go. I'm finally getting off the ground. So there's weapons nearby. There's no aircraft. That's good. So we just gotta wait for that torpedo to go away. Alright, well we got him. But man oh man, that was brutal. Those guys are tough. And there it is again. Now the other one's going after me. <laughs> on our new contact bearing. Oh. Five, one, designated Sierra, one. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Macon sonar, no longer cavitating. This is brutal. On our new contact bearing, zero, seven, six, designated Sierra, two. What's going to happen now is I'm going to lose, uh, zero. I'm going to lose all my torpedoes and not have enough to actually do my mission. Alright, that guy has sonar. And he's actively hunting me. That could be it. Alright, we got 12 missiles left, or 12 torpedoes left. We do have a very strong duct. Um, oh gosh, there's two more. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, that's a nasty one. Sierra 3 is classified as escort. This one might be a merchant. Wouldn't be surprised if it's another three, though. Alright, so this one we might be able to. So I'm gonna like go this way. Shoot two one, I sir. Shoot two two, I sir. Let's see if this works. Try not to reveal where we are. And I'm gonna try to drop below that. Layer. Probably should have gone below the layer before I launched my torpedoes, but too late for lessons learned. Mistakes were made. What I'm mostly afraid of is by diving, I could start flooding again. Um, that's an issue. You have to damage control parties. Native damage control party. Native the reactor space. All right. So I'm going to hit F9 here. Speed it up. All right. And then I'm going to move this one to there. And that one to there. And I'm going to try to split the difference. Helm right to zero, seven, six, helm I. There's the torpedo. In fact, helm I. Left to zero, 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 helm I. I'm going to make this one go active because there's all kinds of torpedoes being launched there. Oh, solutioning is only 50% on that one. This one, 40%. See, look, he's launching torpedoes like mad. I don't think he's actually here. But we'll keep trying. I think he's actually over this way. Cause that's where his torpedoes seem to be coming from. Oh gosh, the other one went active. We need him to go that way. This isn't good. Maybe he's a lot further away. The See, the torpedoes started appearing, right? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, no. And now my torpedo's gone. Both of them. See, that's their range. They're just out of range. So they're launching torpedoes again. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. They're launching a lot of torpedoes. Whoops. Didn't realize four was going to activate already. Have him go straight that way. Con, helm, steady this one I don't have control of anymore, but he's going in the right direction, which is good. And the Oodaloy's running away. Fire control, weapon acquired. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra 2, last bearing, 0, 7, 3. Con 
So that Oodaloy there, he's running away. <clears throat> Neither of these guys are my mission. So I'm like, I'm tempted to just run away. I can only go Zero. ten knots. Maneuvering eye. There we go. We're gonna leave. So we sunk one, escaped the other. This is not our target, so we're okay. And somehow or another, the Soviet coast is any of this, right? It's Archangelus, it's this here, it's Murmansk. What am I going after? A raider group. Which is like more of what I've already just fought. And I wish I could like... See, now I got spotted. I'm gonna try to get out of the way. Is that a raider group or is that just people hunting sub? Uh, this looks like a... Uh, ooh, Foxtrot? Nope. This is a merchant. Alright, so we have a, a strong layer. So let's go down. Okay, so it's allowing me to leave, but what I'm concerned about is this might actually be my mission. Sorry, I was snacking again. So, I don't know what to do. We can leave this mission. 
but there are subs here. Ah, let's do it. So there's a foxtrot that was undiscovered, and he was not my target, so that's good. I would say that's the raider group, that surface fleet that you see there. I lost the mission. Oh, come on. This is the thing, this is why the game gets harder. You just can't even find your, uh, your target. Oh, these are all bad boys here. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as merchant. This was my mission. These are the uh, jerks. Alright, I wasn't very smart. I'm dead. I can't I can't survive this. I I have damage to my propulsion. And there I am. Dead. They got me already. That was just not very smart on my part, was it? Oh. So that's so frustrating. I mean, I know that sometimes you can't find your target, but when it says Soviet coast like that, and it says Raider Group, I mean, just tell me. I mean, surface fleet. Sub fleet. Uh, and the unfortunate part is I'm stuck on this mission. So, I have no choice but to do this. My decision to send the uh, the Moss decoy was not a smart one. So let's not do that again, right? That's not quite it. It's pretty close though, isn't it? Con sonar Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Con sonar Sierra 4 <laughs> is classified as escort. We don't need brown. Shoot 2 1, I sir. Shoot 2 2, I sir. So let's see if they heard me. Do an active sonar. That guy's not even seeing me, see? Negative. This one could. 
but he's not using his sonar at the moment. Oh, there he did. He just detected me. So I'm going to try to send my torpedoes further away. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. When they get close enough, they'll, they'll see the torpedoes, even if the torpedoes aren't active. Which, in this case, they're not. Alright, so for this first one, we're going to activate there. And then for the second one, we're going to activate there. There goes the torpedo. So which direction is it going? Towards me. That jerk. Alright. Yep, and there I am. I'm dead again. I may be stuck, folks. This would take a lot of reloads to get... I mean, all I can do is noisemaker. I have no ability to outrun... ...or do anything. And there's two more. So the best I can do... ...is now I'm gonna shoot my, uh... And now I'm dead from depth charges. Okay. Well, I said I was better. I didn't say it was perfect. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I have beaten the campaign. It's just we are actually near the. We're we're definitely over the halfway point. I would say we were at the three quarters point. And, and the reason I say that is because, the, like I said, the missions start moving into that area. You get attacked a lot more frequently, like as you just saw. And the reason I know we're not past the three-quarter point, though, is we start ticking back, like, Denmark and all those areas. And that didn't happen here. <clears throat> you know, the Denmark and everything was still, you know, Soviet-controlled. So I would still need to win quite a few missions before this would become... Um, near the end game, but yeah, my only choice now is to reload my save and redo that one mission, or I'm stuck trying to reload this over and over again and, and with my propulsion damaged, somehow take on two escorts who are right on top of me, um, and I can't run away from them, and it's too shallow for me to, to get deep. Uh, that's really hard. Um, but anyways, uh, there you go. I think I've done enough of this series. If anything, I would switch to the China one. Um, but thanks for watching. As always, stay awesome.